I really do love Word's autocorrect feature, and I'm sure that you've used it before, whether you know it or not. For instance, when I'm in this document, and if I type in T-E-H and then hit the space bar, well, that's autocorrect. And you can see that it not only turns it into the word the, but it also capitalizes the first letter because it's at the beginning of a sentence. So I'm sure you've witnessed this before on your own computer. Or another example is when you make the copyright symbol or trademark by doing open parentheses C or TM and then close parentheses. And I'm sure everyone's done smiley faces. Well, I want to let you know that you can create your own autocorrect entries for any text that you might use a lot. So, for example, if I write out my name or title a lot, I might want to change that into an autocorrect. That way I don't have to type out the whole thing. All right, so here's how you do it. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Word Options. And you can either get there by going to File and then to Options, or you can right mouse click on the ribbon at the top of the screen and then choose customize the ribbon. Now it does open up your word options, just not in the right category, but this actually is a few less mouse clicks than going to file and then options. All right. So in word options, you want to make sure that you're in the proofing category. And the very first thing that we have there is your autocorrect options. Just go ahead and give a click on that. And you can see here all the different options that are available, like capitalizing the first letter of a sentence or the names of days, fixing it if you accidentally have the caps lock key. And then there's a list down at the bottom and you'll see the copyright and the trademark. You'll see your happy and your smiley faces, the arrows, which I use a lot. And then you also see common misspellings. All right, but again, in this example, I want to replace my initials with my name and title. So in the replace box, I'm going to go ahead and type in IH. Now, I want you to notice that the I is lowercase there and the H is capital. I had the shift key down, but Word doesn't like using capital I's because it just might be the word I. What I mean is this. I could type in A as the first letter and it's capital. I could do a capital B, capital C, capital M, capital L, but you can't do a capital I. All right, so I have a lowercase I and then H and I want to replace that with, and I'll go ahead and type in my name here and a comma and a title and I'll put in a pipe there and I'll just type in udemy.com on the other side of that pipe. All right, I like it. This is how I want it to show up. So I'll go ahead and click on add. And now it's down in the list. So I'll click on OK and OK and test it out. So if I'm ever at the end of a correspondence, some type of letter, whatever it is, I could just type in IH and then hit the space bar and there it is. So think about what you can use this for. Maybe your company's name and street address. Maybe you can use it as a signature as well. Now, let me go in and show you how to get rid of it. And then I'll show you a trick. All right. So I'm going to go back into my word options by right clicking on my ribbon and choosing customize the ribbon back up to proofing back into my autocorrect options. And I'm going to find my entry here. And I'm going to click on delete for now and then click on OK. Now it was in the box, but you'll notice that when you go back in, it doesn't exist. All right, let me cancel out of that and click on OK. Now here's what I want to show you that autocorrect can also store images. So if I wanted to also put in my picture and let me go ahead and grab that. So I want to put my picture along with that. I want to highlight my name and my picture. I'm not selecting each like a click. I'm actually just highlighting them. All right. So I will copy control C on the keyboard. I'll go back into my word options by going to customize the ribbon back into proofing and autocorrect options. And again, I will call this now it's picking up right now on the right hand side. Since I have it selected, it's picking it up. So I'll type in again, I H and I will add that. 
And what I want you to notice here in the list is my name, like it was before, but notice that there are asterisks as well. So that means that there's a picture in it. I'll click on OK and OK, and I will delete this. So if I type in IH and hit space, there's my name, like it was before, as well as my image. So maybe you have your company name and your logo, whatever it is. Instead of having to go to insert picture or going into your quick parts, you don't even have to move your hands off the keyboard. Just create your own autocorrect entry.